that there are points on the body that you can touch without even touching breast tissue. So it's great um, for massage therapists to know these points. It's wonderful for every woman everywhere to know these points. And these points are from the Ayurvedic tradition. They're called Marma points. And the way I love to explain Marma is to say that Marma points are like little eyes. They're like little eyes watching out for your health from head to toe. And what they do when they see a problem is they communicate to your body what needs to be done. It's like waking up your system to take care of itself. When a point is open, it basically gives correct information. When a point is hindered, it gives skewed information. And sometimes points can be completely energetically closed. And that's when tissue gets into trouble. So it's great to know that these mama points are opened by touch primarily. They're open by movement. And Hatha Yoga, the yoga of, of using posture, is basically the high physical science of opening marma by movement. Simply touch the oil onto your skin, that's enough. Then you're going to find um, the first point is right up here. I hope you can see this. I can tell you, if you feel behind your own earlobe, you'll find a little bumpy bone. And the stroke is going to go from behind the earlobe down this big neck muscle and end up on the top of your collarbone. We're going to do it five times each side. So you would go right side, left side, right side, left side to a count of 10. And it's fascinating to know that the marma points that are on this big neck muscle are points that really alert your body. They basically say, this really clears your mind. This makes you feel more alert. And what we're looking for is that feeling of confidence that is in itself really beautiful. And I can tell you for women that have had problems with their, their breasts, regaining that sense of confidence after a breast illness is a huge component. I showed this massage to my mother who had breast cancer in her late 70s. And the biggest benefit, she told me, was just to feel like she could present herself with confidence to the world again. It was like coming out rather than going in. So going from there, we're going to massage just along the whole of the collarbone, rubbing with your fingers one side and the other. And there are points all along the clavicle, the breastbone here, that help with fatigue but they also help with helping us to express ourselves. The points here, particularly right in the middle. And we know from our own experience of feeling sad that actually expressing that sadness is the beginning of that sadness leaving. Because when it comes to breast health, one of the things we know is that when we carry grief and sadness for too long, that's where it manifests. It manifests in our lung tissue, and then in our breast tissue. There's one point in particular that is really a great point to know. And you know, if you wear a bra, it's really right where your bra strap line goes, but it's in front of the roll of your shoulder. Can you see? Like sometimes it would actually be right where, um, where the strap joins the main body of the bra. This point is really particularly helpful if you press in here quite deeply for any kind of problems with fibrocystic tissue. And a lot of people have fibrocystic breasts without ever having breast problems, but it gets particularly tender premenstrually. So a great point to know for relieving just that kind of premenstrual tenderness. The next point I want to show you is a point that is the deepest marma in the whole body. If you put your fingers on top of your shoulder and have your thumb under your armpit, and if you have your arm in the air, so your thumb is in your armpit, fingers on top of your shoulder, and as you drop your shoulder down, your thumb will travel to the deepest part of your armpit. This is the deepest marma point in your body, and this point opens all of the lymphatic tissue 
all the way across your chest and down your neck. It's called a lymphatic gate. So when it comes to lymph, why are we talking about lymph at all? It's actually the lymph tissue that cleanses and replenishes tissue. It's the main cleaning system of the body. This also increases blood circulation. So that's more nourishment coming into the tissue. Of course, if we work on the right side, we must do exactly the same on the left. The next point I want to show you is on the top of the breastbone. And forgive me if you're used to anatomical terms, but so many people don't know them. Let's just keep to the common terms. So if we feel the little notch here at the top of the breastbone and then measure four finger widths down, it's actually where the, um, where the top of the sternum joins the main body of the sternum. This is a wonderful point for relieving stress and anxiety. Actually, many of the points on the midline here work with the heart energy, relieving stress and anxiety. And the points that are between your ribs, where the ribs come and join your um, upper um, breastbone, these are points that are great for relieving stress, anxiety, depression, sadness. And it's good to know that mama points are where we feel tenderness. So one of the translations for the word marma is actually where it hurts. So if you take your fingers in a fanned position and feel in those intercostal spaces, just notice where there is tenderness and concentrate a little more there. The next point I want to show you is also right on the midline of the body. This time we want to find the very top of the breastbone and then the very bottom of the breastbone. It's mid breastbone. This is a great point for being able to let go of emotion. So this point right in the middle of the sternum here is a wonderful point. What I'm going to show you is a point that's actually right at the, if you can even see my ribs, but if you feel the bottom of your ribs and you're just on the breastbone, just above <clears throat> where the ribs, uh, the last rib joins here. This is a great point for breast tenderness. So we had the point here that was great for breast tenderness and another point here that is wonderful for breast tenderness. When you massage breasts in general, you want to apply more pomegranate oil on your breasts and all movement should go towards the armpit. This is towards that point that I showed you underneath um, underneath the arm, deep in the armpit. So you can massage with your left hand over your right breast, your right hand over your left breast, both on top and underneath. But one of the simplest ways to do that is to just put oil on your breasts and move around and around like this. And I always say it's just as important to move your shoulders as it is to actually have any kind of friction on your breast tissue. Because why? When we move our shoulders in this way, we're moving lymph tissue. So you can go clockwise and counterclockwise or outward and inward, around and around. And then at the end, you should always finish by touching that point deep in the armpit. That's the point that is clearing to lymphatic tissue. So there you have them, the best points for breast health.